Welcome back, guys, to the Skyward Sword playthrough, and we left last episode about to head into the Nehru Sand Sea, so let's just go straight ahead and kick it, as it were. Just randomly saying words now, just randomly saying words. A report, Master. This is the Nehru Sand Sea. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water is all evaporated, and now the air is a sea of sand, you're telling me. Quicksand, in fact. More or less, probably. Time crystal down there. Signs indicate that this place functions as a port, linking the land to the sea. And we get another chunk of the map filled in. Still looks like there's a chunk of the map at the bottom there to fill in, really. I don't really need to be that orientated. We can go out the map now. This area operated on a new form of power. There is 90% probability that the sacred flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring this sand sea. Well, you know, you wouldn't be able to stop me. Claw shot time. It's the best part of the game. These chains are made out of gold as well. Oh, I can't go that close. So I've got to go over here. Okay. And then there. Can we just hop over there? Why does it sound like someone's hissing at me? Ugh! Ugh! Why did I get scared by the small bugs? Yeah, it's cicada, yeah? One sand cicada, yeah, they do make... I'm pretty sure the cicadas do make that kind of hissing noise if you go near them. It's one, of, it's one really odd bug, to be fair. So let's get over here. It's too far away, okay. So guys, I am uh, not far ahead in the playthrough-wise as, well, as I was before. I'm only like a day ahead, so, I mean, when you view this, that's, that's, that's all my episodes. I'm just playing every night now to try and uh, kind of like keep up with you guys for a little bit, because there have been people who have been like, um, oh, you missed this, you missed that, and I, I want to help you out, but... You know, you, you, you seem to be far ahead, and I'm not that far ahead at all, and I am listening to all these little tips. I mean, sometimes they come with, uh, blatant... Oh my god, I jumped because a massive chew came out of the ground. Sometimes they come with blatant, massive spoilers, and, you know, it'd be nice to not have the spoilers, because that's, that's, I haven't really, you know, played the game all the way through yet. I, I would swallow that bomb. I, w I would like to do it as spoiler-free as possible, let's put it that way. But helps and tips, they, they, they do help, like with goddess chests or maybe heart pieces I missed or sub-quest locations. Am I missing this guy several times with this bomb? Oh, I'm just going to go past him anyway. So it looks like here is our destination. So any like little tips like that is fine. That's great. I, I appreciate your help, like the goddess cube in the, uh, the first sanctum as it were, where you I can't remember what we picked up now, the first tablet part, or the second tablet part, really. That part. I will go back and get that goddess cube, don't worry. Here we go, a nice little... I like, I like the little dappled effect. It looks like a watercolour painting on the uh, water there. And that's what it means by a new power source. Okay, can I steal your boat? Do I have to talk to you first, little pirate Pete looking machine guy? Hmm, who are you? Is this some human room? Who am I? Burst? Span by for many city noises. I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Weep, Nehru's flame? It was the day of the storm, for weep. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual, Vroom. And then those brutes, Burst. The pirates suddenly attacked us, Burst. They were after Nehru's flames. My crew was imprisoned, Vrush, and I was thrown into the sea. You're prote not a very good protector of Nehru's flame, then, are you? I drifted on the current to this port, Vrush. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. Zzz. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be, Fweep. I bet my hat they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere, Vrush. You can't see it. Why not? In order to protect Nehru's flame, the ship is a function that allows it to become invisible. Weep. Nice technology they've got. 
You say you're searching for Nehru's flames? Is it? Oh, so you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to you, Rune? In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. Crew? Crew, sweep. Nice miss saying there. It's like, er, what am I saying? Er? If you'll help me, this, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. I'll help. Really, Rune? Well, in that case, is it? Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours, Rune. If you're gonna navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart, do we? There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat, is it? So first you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Okay. Shall we show off, Rune? Let's go. Alright, let's go, Rune. It's gotta be like Wind Waker version 2. I'm guessing because the time crystal is powering the ship that wherever we move, the time reverts back. My circuit sparked to life in the salt air room. It feels good to take to the seas again after so long, but let's see if I can remember how to navigate, Bruce. Press, well, move to move, Zerts. Press A while moving to speed up, Vroom. Press B to ready the cannon, Weep. Then press A to fire, Zert. I place an X mark over on the island where my house is, Vroom. There's a pier on the island where we can dock, Bruce. Okay, over there. Very good. Right, let's go, Vroom. Okay, Wind Waker version 2. We've got cannons. Nice clicking sound. I like, is that a link really going? Fire! Fire! Okay, okay, we'll just destroy the sand, it's cool. And then along the move and A to speed up with a really lush looking stamina bar. It's like a mix between a compass and a rudder. Rudder. Is that the right thing to call it? The steering wheel of a ship? It's the, uh. Oh my god, what is it? The yoke? I'm not sure. You, you you probably get the yoke. Something like that. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. It's not the rudder. The rudder's at the back. The rudder steers the ship at the back. Anyway, we're here already. That wasn't exactly a long journey. No enemies for the cannon to be used for. It's kind of a useless thing at the moment. Okay, Skipper's Retreat. We're going to have to do some puzzling. There's a goddess cube up on high. And Moblins, your retreat has actually been full on taken over. And you're going to just leave me there because you can't exist in the outside of the time zone. But you don't know that, I'm guessing. We've arrived, weep. That mustache is nowhere near as epic as mine. My shack is in the very top room. The sea chart we need is in my shack, sir. But you're the one who will have to go get it. it? There are more monsters about than before, so be careful, weep. I can't wander far from the boat, so I'll just stay here, room. So he does have a sense of what's going on then. He does know that he's kind of in a time dilation field-ish. The other guys didn't seem to have that kind of forethought, did they? And another save point to pick up as a location to come down to the sky through. Which is nice, of course. Okay, uh, how did we kill you again? I've completely forgot. Can I whip you? Look you in the face all day, mate. Never mind. We're going up then. Uh, it looks like this is actually the way down, not the way up. Which isn't handy. Oh, I thought it might be able to whip on. So we're, we're heading straight round you then. Okay then, ways to kill you. I guess it's just simply chuck a bomb at you. I know our shield is resistant to electricity though. That would have been nice to get that heart. I mean, we still have 10 hearts, it's fine anyway. Oh, you're hurt. Serious. I just like how the only way to kill you is bombs. Okay, let's head up. Old Babas from a distant age. How easy it is to kill you, he says as he fails. Oh, I was trying to go for the other one. It Locks me into that one. There we go. What are you? Have we met one of you before? I mean... You look similar to things in past Zelda games, but I'm just actually not sure what you are. Or if there's a way to kill you, it would be nice. I'm just going to go straight past you and hope that you don't mysteriously come... Oh, we can't even do that. Uh, Four shot you? Oh, really? Look at that. That is a cool little scene, that. 
I like Link hanging like that. That's ace. And uh, way to bomb something. So, uh. Well, I'm gonna use this on you. Technically, we don't need that bomb there to do it, but we are running out of bombs, so that's just an insurance bomb in case I didn't have any bombs. Oh no, yeah, not that noise in this game. Why do I forget simple things like that? Let's go through then. They're gonna turn really big soon. You can get off me for a start. A jelly blob! We've only seen this screen a million times. There's one thing I had to change about this game. One thing. It would be about those jelly blobs. Or, you know, picking up items that you've already picked up before and getting an explanation for it. So we are using the hook shot, uh, claw shot again. Dangle on this thing. Will that bring me close enough to that one? Yes. I do like these claw shots. They are a nice little mechanic. But he is trustworthy in terms of trial and error. I mean, it, essentially it was me being the trustworthy one by just jumping on it and like, yeah, yeah. Bugs! We'll catch you, Ant. Let's get a scooping action going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One the name of Ant. In case we need more potions. But we need another ladybug if we're ever going to get another red potion plus at some point. One of them gave the, uh... I've got more than Aru Ants. Oh, it just committed suicide. Never mind. Oh, wait. That's that's not fair. I'm not sure you're allowed to reinforce shields, mate. I think that's actually slightly unfair. Did it work? Nope. Okay, how are we getting past you, then? Seems like yeah. This seems like a really bad kind of deal. Okay, we tried nearly everything. Is there any alternative path? No. Nope. Beating the crap out of him while he's facing the wrong way, though. Haha! <laughs> you have been defeated at your own game, sir! And that really just nearly penetrated me in a place that no man should have to feel unless that's what they prefer in life. Anyway, we're going away. We, we've already won this battle. Come on. I got my unbreakable shield. I have no fear of you. Oh, the goddess! Che oh! How are we going to get over there? Hmm. Can vines be grabbed? Yes! I have to get a little bit closer and hope that moblin doesn't come up behind me. Okay, one. And now we're all the way over. Simples! To the sky! And I'm not saying it! To the heavens, even! I got my own catchphrase! My catchphrase wrong! <laughs> yeah, it's one more goddess cube picked up. There's a claw shot target over there, so it's just a simple case of climbing back around. So these claw shots can grab literally everything they want to grab, more or less. There seems to be no limit for what they can do. And that's a quick, easy way down. So we got fire over there. What is that? Look. Come on, lower, lower your tail. You were getting, you were, you were just destined to get beat up upon. Your strategy is a bit too simple. Okay, uh, slash. Whip. Pull up in the air. Blast off. Excellent. So we got look, puzzles involving several different elements going on now. 
Can I just grab onto that and it will literally take me over it of its own free will? Yeah, traveling. I like how hanging from that doesn't require stamina though. Even though hanging from ledges does, hanging from one arm doesn't require any stamina. Okay, we are up into... lots of dragonflies. That don't like me. Okay, we are going... You will become mine. This is where the big bug net would probably help a fair bit. Ah, oh, okay, problems. What do I do about that thing? Uh, the beetle, maybe? The beetle might be our solution. The beetle should react when... Yeah, it gets close. The problem is... It's just cutting its... There we go! Solving problems for days. Second problem, the bird. Can be two of them up above, I see. So we're gonna literally have to probably... Yeah, get set on fire. Because we can't dodge them both at the same time. Get dead. Technically, if I pulled one down and then let it get back up, it probably would have let me, uh... Well, you know, I probably would have been fine. I wouldn't have got hit, but it would have taken some time, and I'm... Um... Yeah, I can't target this thing if I'm down there. Yo, 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 go back. Up. 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 Where's my where's my target? Okay, I did manage to get on lush. I thought it'd be a bit too far away before the I got to. And we are up to his house. Is there any itemry around the back? In Zelda, stuff is usually around the back, like the quick way to get down over here, a way to jump off over here. Some kind of box that allows me to climb higher, here. That's oh, Cicada. Because I don't know how to get up to you, because I don't think there's any way to get jump higher. Let's do it off his mustache. Oh no, vines. Check if there's anything else but the Cicada is, the, uh, is one of the points as well. Well, I hate you too, Cicada. And I cannot get in the chimney. So it was simply a case of heading in the building and getting my map. This music is very calming though. Oh god, not you guys. Something tells me I have to get out of the gust bellows. Look how many different items this area is used. I like how the, uh, despite the fact I'm blowing away, the pots are rolling towards me. Yes, I know, I've already got like a billion and one of them. Time stone, please. I imagine it's the time stone I'm looking for. To rescue these guys from their horrific peril. Is these guys their cr crew or. Are these guys his family? Oh, we found a treasure chest. Is that just going to be the uh, a dungeon map for the outer area? Yeah, you got the ancient sea trail. This old map details the area as it was long ago, before the sea succumbed to the desert sand. Master, I've determined that this is Skipper's sea trail. Let's take it back to him. Master, look over there. Yes. Lots of boats and... What the hell is that on the front of the boat? Is that just like a figurine? And they had a big crew! That is the ship containing Nehru's flame. There's 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. Well, yes. 
This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Nice deduction there, Sherlock. Dear Captain, thanks for everything, Zert. Yours the crew, Vroom. Dear Dad, good luck at work, Vroom. Is there any way to bring this family back to life anywhere? Is there a time stone somewhere? You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Even though they've literally been dead for like centuries. Or, you know. Time stone? No way, no way to awaken his family. Well, that's kind of cruel. Except, you know, there's a very suspicious pile there. No, really? No way to, no way to awaken his family. Well, that's a bit harshish. You might ask if you've seen his family on the way down. You just have to explain. Yeah, uh, time dilation feels kind of needed. That's that cicada again, hissing away. Grab and go. That is not half as fast as I thought it would be. When you think zip line, you think speed. That's what I think anyway. I do like the fact that you've got an easy way down, but couldn't you have made it some kind of like, well, the system they have on skis, ski slopes? That would have probably been a lot more satisfying, sir. We're back. You've got the sea chart room, now we can finally navigate properly. Let's go look for my ship, not gonna ask about your family. Possibly your family? Okay. Don't give a crap. Anchor's away, room. I just want to be at sea. I assume there is family. Open up the sea chart you brought with you, Zert. Okay, we've opened up another area. The shipyard is at this location, Zert. Let me mark it for you with an X sweep. Okay. The shipyard is where we used to build our ships, Zert. My ship was built there too, Zweep. If you go to the shipyard, you might find some clues to the location of my ship, Zert. Okay, set sail, Zert. We're going straight ahead. Let's go. Maybe we'll find some use for our cannon. Wind Waker Light. Go! Personally, I want to keep encountering like loads of islands and stuff. I mean, very... Uh, it's very pushing me into... Hello. Well, that was a bad shot, but still hit. I've got to be worried now from now on. Oh, hello, enemies. There we go, got them second time. Get away from me! Unless you hit him dead on then, you just can't get here. Okay, we can't go through there. We're going to have to go all the way round, I think. I love how I just 360 for no apparent reason. <laughs> Blown away. I do half expect, like, landmines, but... I mean, we only saw that one red one, and that's it. He turn around and look at his mate like what? Go go we wake her lights. There's a lot of enemies. We could just drive past them. I mean we we found the port, so it's cool. Wouldn't wake her light. Would have been good if a bit nostalgic if a gigantic squid attacked and we had to like yeah, I just remember we don't have a boomerang. Yeah. Never mind. Seems to be some kind of cart ride here. 
I mean, it's the only way to like minecart ride. It's the only way to kind of like interpret these tracks with jumps. We've arrived from. This is the island where we used to make our ships. You'll find the shipyard here, as well as the town where the workers lived. Reap. That building is the construction bay room. But the entrance is closed, room. Looks like you can't get in. Each location on the island is linked to the others via a minecart track, room. You might be able to get to the back door of the construction bay if you can get around to the other side of it using a minecart, room. There's a minecart station over there, sir. God, this place is massive. This is pre-dungeons are so massive in this game. You should head to the station first. I'll wait here for weep. Oh my god, everything is like gigantic in this game, really. Let's go then. Take another save point. Now I have a decision to make here, because before we go further, and I will make this decision, before we explore this land, this whole dungeon in itself that it's probably going to end up being, we have a couple of upgrades to pick up. Yes, I know, upgrades breaking up the storyline. But we've had for a while the capability to get a big bug net to make me stop looking like an idiot when I try to catch bugs. And the Sacred Shield's third upgrade, so like the best shield we can currently get. So before any dungeon dealing, as it were. Yes, I did just drive into a wall. Before any dungeon dealing. I just see my face as like, oh yeah, okay, clever boy. Or any dungeons are set to or joined or played with or... Cross the beam is okay, the beam doesn't do any damage that I kind of thought it used to do. Whatever. We can get these upgrades, make ourselves more powerful, make our job easier. That's how... Well, we roll. That's a 100% kind of playthrough. Get all the stuff. And straight to the bazaar. Dropping some cash as well, if you think about it. Not that we haven't got a massive space to grow. I mean, we're about to hit four figures. Where you at then, mate? Hey, kid, how's Scrapper treating you? Anything to upgrade today? Wrong button. What the was it? Oh, then why didn't you even come and talk to me? Oh, I, I, I'm not messing with you. Upgrade. You got it. These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Well, we know the one we want to do. Thank you. Alright, you want to upgrade this? There's no going back, you hear? Go for it, mate. Okay, you just wait right there. All done, here you go. You upgraded to a goddess shield. The shield repairs itself with sacred power and it's even more durable than other versions of the shield. If you've got anything else you want me to tinker around with you, just let me know. Of course I do, mate. One more thing. It's either that or I might actually need... I can do this one as well. I hope I'm not... Uh... I need ancient flowers for the big bug net as well. Hmm. <laughs> I think we can deal without the beetle being kick ass right now. We'll go with the big bug now. Alright, you wanna upgrade this? Yep. Okay! Okay! That's a deep bug net. You upgraded to the big bug net. It's now double its original size, making it easier to catch even the most nimble bugs. Nope, we're fine. We can leave you. You've done your duty. We cannot upgrade anymore. Okay, so we've, uh... Oh, shield. Got our sexy new shield. The uh, top upgrade for this shield type, in fact. And there's one last thing to hit in Skyloft. Oh look! Yes, that is the last thing I think we have to hit. 
I was actually looking at this goddess chest a while back and I was wondering how on earth do you get there? I spent ages just like walking around Skyloft for a bit, just checking out the sights. And it was like, how do I get up here? And that answer has become pretty damn apparent during this episode, in fact. This episode alone has pretty much taught me everything I need to know about how to get up there. And that is that vines can be grabbed by the claw shot, which is, of course, our new upgrade. So can I simply just claw shot up there? Yep. Okay, we're hitting our own little special island. And another claw shot point there. Oh, said I could reach. And up we go. We'll land in the sky, so to say. Speaking of which, though, that goddess chest isn't the one we're after. The one we're after. Questions. Is down there. Has it got vines? Is it simply a case of trying to jump from this really high spot on top of it? Yes, I think it might be. Let's give it a go, eh? <laughs> that was cool. Goddess Chess. You got a gold rupee, it's worth a staggering 300 rupees. We just made our money back after we money dumped a little bit. Oh well. We're rich! Who can complain? Anyway, that is the end of the episode, guys. We've explored a bit of the Lanayru Sansi, and we've got like a whole new little outer world dungeon to explore next episode. So guys, thank you for watching. Check out the nice little uh, post-roll that's going on the end of this episode, by the way, new for the channel. And I will see you next time.